hey guys welcome back to the another video from r3 gamings this is your friend rankish 3 and this is really early in the morning it's 6 12 half of you probably are just sleeping but i'm here to make another video for you guys so today we are going to talk about uh, how to add the scrolling text into your obs live stream or recording so you must have probably seen a lot of videos where you add uh, where they have added a scrolling text at in the bottom of the uh, in the bottom of their screen and it displays various information like to follow them to subscribe them or probably some information about their channel so today we are going to learn that how we can also do the same in our obs stream or uh, or obs recording so let's get this video started see you soon hey guys welcome back and so first thing we are going to do is that we are going to today uh, today we are going to learn that how are we going to add a scrolling text into our obs live stream or recording for this what we have to do is that we have to go into our obs and we have to create a new source in our present scene so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to hide this banner in the bottom which i've already using over there and i'm going to show you that how i'm going to add a scrolling text into the uh, into the sources for this i'm going to hide the dancing guy the gif donation banner social media and background and my uh, branding also <coughs> so what we are going to do here is that we are going to add first we are going to add a text source here if you want to rename it you can rename it i'm going to rename it as text test scrolling text and it's done okay so now we are going to add the matter of the text which we want to show um, in the scrolling area so i'm going to write test for r3 gamings to put a separator over there and then we are going to write don't for, forget to subscribe then again a separator like and comment too and then we are going to to select uh, so once we have put in the matter now what we are going to do is that we are going to select the font of the text for that you have to go to this um, select font and from all these available fonts you can select which one do you want to run so i'm going to use the blade runner no not the blade runner mm. Mm -mm -mm. yeah i think yeah i think this is perfectly fine georgia and i can use it like i, I can make it bold i can make it in italics or i can just simply make it in italics um, then I can select the size of my font I'm going to use 28 and I'm going to use bold, bold but without italics and I'm going to click OK now you see you have your text in the Georgia font with bold so now you can select the color if you want to I'm going to make it red because it reflects pretty well in the background and then you can do all these settings which I have already earlier told you in my another video. I'm going to click OK. 
as you see my text has already come over here i'm going to drag it to the bottom and i'm going to resize it fitting to the uh, to my screen okay so i'm just going to click it and go to the transform and fit to the screen oh no it's too big for the screen to fit yes fit to the screen and then i'm going to resize it like this so now you see that i have put it this to my screen now we have to give this the scrolling effect for that what we are going to do is that we are going to click here um, on the scrolling text source and go to the filter and then add scroll as the filter click ok and then we are going to decide what kind of speed we want so if you want to scroll it horizontally onto your left side you have to drag this bar like this onto your right side and the further you move your slider the faster the scrolling gets i think that's too fast and i think this is perfect in the same way if you're going to drag the slider onto your left the text is going to start scrolling into the right direction and the further you take the faster it gets i'm going to scroll it onto my left and keep it something like this which is readable and not too much uh, distracting also same way if you don't want to like if you don't want to use if you don't want to scroll it into the horizontal you can also scroll it up in the uh, vertical direction so like this if you take it on to the left it starts from up to down if you take it to the right it goes from down to up so i'm going to make it zero again and i'm going to keep it in the horizontal position let's say 20 yeah i think is fine and then you can play around with the width and the height just by clicking on it so it gives you like what kind of width you want to keep okay so these are an optional effects which you can put in so now after doing all this I'm going to click close and you see you have your text scrolling in the bottom so I just want to do one more change over here and this is I want to put a separator in the last okay so now you have these separators which differentiate like all the text that you have put in so now what you have to do is if you want to give a background to this you can just simply like you can just go to the properties again and you can use a background color from here i think white is pretty okay for me because that gives a lot of uh, not the gradient but the background color from here i can use white click ok and click ok now oh, it didn't work why because i didn't select i yeah, okay because it didn't work because i did not select the background opacity so if you want the color to reflect you have to increase the background opacity like this and you have to make it 100 percent opaque and then click ok so now you have that background color plus scrolling text to your obs stream or live session so i hope you guys would have liked this video in case you did don't forget to give a like or a thumbs up in case you are new to my channel i want you to please subscribe to my channel 
uh, for the new and upcoming videos don't forget to uh, click the bell icon also so that you get the latest videos um, notifications and that's it for today i'll see you soon guys i hope you have a great day ahead and take care of yourself